Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about how to synchronize filters across multiple pages in Looker Studio reports. Let's start with the fact that filters are incredibly helpful when working with our data, as they can dynamically adjust our reports based on the selected filters. We can achieve this using the Add a Control feature, which places filters on our report page, or through internal filters, which users won't be able to change automatically. However, we can set a default value, and our report will adjust to this internal filter. Let's start by looking at Add a Control. These are our control elements, and the most popular ones are Data Range Control and Dropdown List. The Data Range Control helps filter dates and periods instantly to view specific timeframes in our reports. The Dropdown List assists in filtering by various categories. Let's begin with the Data Range Control. We add it to the page, and by default, it shows all dates within our range. To set up an automatic data range, we go to the settings and can select a fixed value, the previous month, or, for example, the previous period. Let's set it to the previous year as an example. Click Apply, and now all the data has been rebuilt for 2023 only with all before and after indicators filtered accordingly. In viewing mode, we can also see that they remain in place, allowing additional filtering while the automatic date range shows our automatic range values when opening the page. But if we move to the next page, we notice that all previous values are still there, as we haven't set up a control element here. So how do we synchronize this control element or filter across multiple pages? To do this, we right-click or on a Mac, double-click and select Make Report Level. After this, our control element will display on all pages of our report. So when a new page is added, it will automatically appear and apply its filters to each report. Now, let's take a look in preview mode. If, for example, we set a specific date range, like March to December, then when we change this on the current page and go to the next page, the same range is preserved. This way, we've synchronized dates across multiple reports. Let's now look at how we can use another control element, like a drop-down list. In our example, we're using revenue and expense metrics collected from several of the company's business units. For our example, let's choose a unit selection so we can view the metrics for either one unit or another. We add our control element, and now in preview mode, we can change our unit, for instance, to the first or second unit. However, the same issue remains. When we move to the next page, all values are still shown. To resolve this, we can also set it at the Make Report level, and when we move to the next page, the values will be preserved. So, if we select only Unit 1 here, when we go back to the previous page, this control element, this filter, will remain the same. But what should we do if we want to apply, for example, our default Unit 1 filter to all pages, but in such a way that our users cannot change these values, but that the whole report is displayed only according to Unit 1? To do this, we need to go to the Filter section and create a filter that will be applied to the entire report. To set a report-wide filter, we can go to Report Settings, then to the Filter section, select Filter on this report, add a filter, click Create, and then name our filter. Set it to Include. Choose the category from which we'll select values, and set it to Equal or Contains. The choice here isn't crucial, and specify Unit 1. Save the filter. 
Now our data displays only Unit 1 on both the first and second pages. In this way, we have control elements that apply across multiple pages. And we now also have an embedded filter that users cannot change to select values from the second unit, for example. Choosing between the two options depends on your needs. If you want to keep dynamic control over your report using control elements, I recommend adding them to the page. If, however, you need to restrict editing and filter changes, it's better to set a report-wide filter so users cannot alter it. But you, as the report customizer, can adjust it if needed. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Make use of filters in your work. They will make your life much easier and help you work more effectively with reports. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. If you still have any questions, ask them in the comments.